My friends Jacob, Charlie, and I started a Minecraft world about two or three weeks ago. We got quite hooked onto the game during February break, and since then we have progressed very far throughout the game and um, have built some very mesmerizing structures. During our playthrough, I actually noticed some surprising benefits that I would say fit into the category of self-improvement. Before I talk about that, however, I would like to give you guys a tour of our lovely world. So starting here, this is our first house that we built. It is quite small, but it is also a very nice design, I would say. Down here, we have our enchantment table as well as our villagers, including our mending villager right here. In the future, we hope to get more villagers and books as well. The farm was also quite an early part of our world. We started with a square probably like this big, and now we have expanded it out to be this large farm that we do have now. The next thing that was built was this medieval looking shack right here. It was built by my friend Charlie. So this is kind of his headquarters in here. Um, we got the basics, you know, a couple chests and stuff. And then upstairs we have something very cool, which is this uh, diamond armor pedestal right here. So Charlie also built this opening right here, which goes down into the mine. We have our dirt section here, as well as our stone sections and more stone down here. Then this goes to a very large mine down there. And this lever right here actually opens this door and goes into our chest room down here. My friend Jacob has been working on the redstone for this. Um, he's not quite done with it yet, but it is working well so far. The chest room was one of our earlier builds in this world. We started with the classic chest room design, but have now moved on to the automated sorting chest room. Around the same time that I was building the chest room, Charlie has been working on this very grand tower right here. This is the map and cartography type of place, as you can see. And there's a very great view from the top, as I will show you in a second here. I built the bridges in this world, which I'm actually very proud of. I really love the designs that I made for these. I also really like how it connects to the nether portal like this. However, there is a massive bridge over here, which took me probably three times as long as both those bridges combined. As we are in survival mode, it was um, quite tricky to get the materials for this build, but we did get it done, and I am super, super proud of it. It looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. Next up is the super smelter. So basically the way this works is you put your fuel up in here, like for example coal or bamboo or lava buckets, stuff like that. Then in this minecart with a chest you put in your ores or whatever you'd like to smelt. From there you just click this lever and the ores and fuel will get delivered into these furnaces down here. Then the final smelted um, items end up in this chest right here as you can see. We have all the ingots and cooked food and stuff like that. And behind the super smelter, we have a bamboo farm. The way that the bamboo farm works is basically there are these observers that see when the bamboo gets tall enough, then the pistons will go off, and then there's a minecart that is underneath and picks up the dropped bamboo and brings it up into the super smelter and actually uses the bamboo as fuel in the super smelter. Jacob has recently been working on an exact replica of his own house in real life. And so far it is looking very good. Lastly, we have what I have been most recently working on, which is basically a huge treehouse. Um, soon I actually hope to plant a few more of these massive trees and uh, have bridges connecting them and stuff like that. So here's what it looks like up here. Um, I actually had to get all of these cherry leaves and plant them up here, but I think it was worth it. That is our world. We are definitely very proud of the results and the progress we have made in our world and hope to continue to do so in the near future. So as you can see, my friends and I have conquered our world quite well so far. Moving forward, we plan to get some netherite gear, defeat some of the upcoming bosses, as well as um, just continuing to build some amazing structures and uh, decorating our great environment. So I've actually found Minecraft to be a game that connects quite well to some concepts of self-improvement. I have personally been undergoing some self-improvement for the last couple of years, you know, going through the ups and downs, like many of you probably watching this video. 
The first benefit is probably an obvious one, but it is probably also commonly overlooked, which is that Minecraft is a very enjoyable game. Um, that is a great bonding experience to keep you social. Um, that is if you are playing with friends, which I do highly recommend. It does make the game a lot more fun. And staying social is very important. Everyone has different levels of need for social interaction and uh, relationships and stuff like that. But um, it is important for everyone. I personally believe from experience that staying social is super beneficial. Whether it be just an hour a day playing Minecraft or, you know, more than that. You know, whatever, whatever it happens to be. I highly recommend that aspect of life to uh, keep being a social creature as we are. There seems to be a common trend recently that, um, you know, going monk mode and just grinding nonstop, no breaks for like years is how you become successful. And to a certain extent, I agree because, you know, working very hard is a super prideful thing, but there has to be a correct balance and everyone's is different. And I believe that staying social is a very important part of that balance. Moving on to the next benefit, I'd say that playing Minecraft with a busy schedule like most of you have, it um, provides a lot of discipline. It shows you how to stay connected with your priorities and goals, even though you may want to play this game. So for me, Minecraft has been something I've looked forward to playing every single day, um, you know, after school, after track, um, and after my homework, and after whatever I'm working on, whether it be videos or, you know, whatever it may be, making dinner, stuff like that. Because I know most of you want to play video games all day and, and would play video games all day. You know, I, I'm definitely included in that. But everyone has priorities and goals and stuff like that that need to be accomplished as well um, to be a successful person. And so Minecraft and video games in general kind of just builds a mental castle in your mind to kind of avoid avoid the distraction of playing Minecraft and continue to focus on your homework, focus on the things that you need to do first. And then you get to play Minecraft and enjoy the time with your friends or even if it's solo, um, playing Minecraft at the end of the day or you know whenever you end up playing. And it's also important to note that if you're unable to get on the game a certain night or something like that because you have a lot of work or um, stuff like that, it is okay. That is, uh, it's totally fine. You can just continue, continue uh, going with the flow, moving towards the next session you get to play. The next thing that I noticed from playing Minecraft is that it really shows you how to be creative and solve very intricate problems, which can definitely correlate to your personal life, your personal goals, and there will always be roadblocks and stuff like that. But I would say that Minecraft gains you a conquering mindset that allows you to. Um, you know, get past roadblocks in creative and uh, creative ways, and uh, gives you some problem-solving skills that um, you can use to solve problems on your own and stuff like that, and just help you reach your overall goals in life. I've personally been a very creative person my whole life, and I think that everyone has that side in them, whether it's like a a big piece or a small piece. Everyone has a little bit of creativity in them, you know. And I think Minecraft definitely brings that out. Minecraft was one of my first experiences with kind of like electrical technologies and stuff with obviously redstone, you know, I've been a big redstone guy using, you know, comparators and repeaters and observers and pistons and everything like that, you know, for, for a long time. And I, I adore, adore redstone and you've, you've actually seen quite a few of the, uh, the redstone facilities that we've built in our current world as well. Now I would say that Minecraft floats your energy to a different stream. Although Minecraft can be a distraction from your thoughts and from the real world and stuff like that, um, if used improperly or if you play for too long, it can also be very beneficial if used in healthy ways. Minecraft is pretty obviously a pleasurable experience, but it is a pleasurable experience that is way, way more healthy than other, you know, common habits that I'll, I think a lot of our generation has, like vaping or fapping or freaking scrolling on social media for hours. For me, I have personally been doing no fap for around 100, uh, 150-ish days. So I would say that Minecraft um, just helps me to, to use the vast energy of mankind, uh, the vast energy that many young men experience and have in their lives 
but they end up using it in a unhealthy manner. I'd say that Minecraft is 100% not the healthiest place you can put your energy, but it is so much healthier than many bad ways to do it, like the ones I um, gave examples of previously. Additionally, I think that um, Minecraft teaches you many great life lessons and skills, surviving and conquering your world and reality and environment, which is basically the main goal of Minecraft. It is a super vital component to being successful in the real world. Those basic skills have a vast land of other, you know, like smaller concepts and skills that are kind of connected to it that are all super, super important to anyone's life and being successful in anything that you want to do. The last and final idea that I noticed from playing Minecraft so much recently is that Minecraft allows you to build something that you are very proud of and also share that pride that you have with people that you really enjoy being around. Pride and overall just dignity is something that I've recently been working on and I've noticed to be a super, super underrated concept that I think all men especially, but all people overall need to kind of research and look into because at least for me, the key to contentness and feeling sufficient in this world and also constant comparison to other people, you know, and using social media and stuff just brings you down a dark, dark hole into a very dark place of thinking that you are never good enough, you know? But, um, you know, Minecraft can be a start to finding pride and dignity in yourself and to feel proud and content with who that, who that you are and who that you're going to be in the future. Also, this is not an ad, but I just want to point out that currently, right now, there is a 40-day free trial of Minecraft Realms if you have friends that you want to play with and you might be on at different hours of the, of the day and stuff like that. I highly recommend Minecraft Realms for 40 days and then just immediately cancel it and you'll keep the 40 days. You know, 40 days is pretty long. You can usually get pretty far into a minecraft world with um 40 days thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it i hope you all are staying strong and finding pride in yourselves on your self-improvement journeys and um, i also hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channels by hitting the buttons up in the corner over here also recommend watching this video down in the corner over here down in the description below will be my socials see you guys in the next video Peace out.